Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel and thank you for all the support. So a Miami Heat insider believes the team's ceiling is a first round exit this season. And that was Ira Winderman from the Sun Sentinel. He said at the moment, it would take a significant winning streak for the Heat to escape the playing tournament. Then he also goes on to talk about if we're in the plan, we're probably going to play Boston or Milwaukee in the first round. So that's why he's saying that we're possibly a first round exit. And to be honest, he's right. I think that there's so many things that have gone wrong with this team. Over this year, you know, think about it. We're, we gave a point guard $90 million to do, and he's done absolutely nothing. Think about it. We paid this guy $90 million and he refuses to get in shape. He refuses to lose weight. He refuses to be a team player. This guy has not given us anything all season. And a whole bunch of people want to be in my comments talking about, oh, but Kyle Lowry, he helped us for about two weeks last season. Who cares? We didn't win the championship. It doesn't matter. If he was in shape, he wouldn't be falling to all these injuries, hamstrings. No. That's because he needs to stop. Put down the snacks, put down the cookies and the cakes, and he needs to be in shape. Also, too, even his impact on winning, that's my biggest thing. With all the jokes aside, where is his impact in winning? He's not impacting winning on this Miami Heat team at all. If he was impacting winning, he, we would be winning. We, we would actually be winning games. All we're missing for is Kyle Lowry to give us 12 points a game. You know, get the guys going, get guys good looks. That's why we brought him here. We brought him here for championship experience. Uh, championship leadership and veteran experience and leadership. That's why we brought him over to this team. And of course, that's Jimmy Butler's guy. Same thing with Jimmy Butler. How come he's not getting on his guy Kyle Lowry? I just don't understand this. Jimmy Butler claims he he has smoke for everybody in the locker room and all his previous teams, but he doesn't want to hold his guy accountable. Also, too, this undrafted foolishness. This undrafted stuff has to stop this season. There's no way on earth that you're telling me that when you look across the NBA, you have teams that maybe have maybe one undrafted guys and we have eight and nine undrafted players. Some points throughout this season, there was five undrafted guys on the court. And I get it. You know, this team wants to sometimes cut corners and it has worked. I think that we've gotten great production out of undrafted players, but we cannot hold our chips here. We have very low, 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 IQ, low IQ role players. These guys are low budget role players. They're not high level role players. They're not athletic. They're not elite three point shooters. They're not good passers. They're not good rebounders. They're just okay role players. And we have decent role players, low budget role players playing starter minutes. I like gave Vincent. He got to go. Listen, I think he was great while he's been here, but he's I think this whole starting point guard run and thank God that it happened this year so that we're not paying Max and Gabe. We can't pay these guys. We, I don't care if they walk and leave us. We cannot pay these guys. For what? I think that if you look across the league, we can get someone to replace them that's undrafted, if that's the case. But it doesn't make sense we continue to bring this the same roster back over and over and over and over again. For what? Duncan Robinson, he forgot how to shoot. Inconsistent. Very streaky. Max Strews, very streaky. Gabe Vincent, very streaky shooter. You know, so what? why are we going to continue to bring these guys? Haywood Heisman, for what? This Miami Heat team needs real talent around Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler. When you look at the box score, it's 20 points for Jimmy, 20 points for Bam, 20 points for um, Hero. Everyone else has like six, three, four, and eight. What We will not win a championship like that. When the others that are on your teams, not the main guys, but the other guys, your other guys have to be well-rounded, good role players. I think our best role player on our team is Caleb Martin. He's a guy that's athletic. He can shoot the three. He can attack the rim. He can play defense. That's what you need on a championship level team. You need well-rounded role players, but these one-dimensional guys who can also too, they can't play defense. Also too, we're, we are very undersized, even though we have Cody Zeller and whatnot and Kevin Love. And don't get me wrong. I think that they've definitely helped when it comes to size and rebounding. However, our defense, our perimeter defense, guarding guys on the wing, guarding guys at the top of the key, that's where we struggle. Tyler Hero is not necessarily the best defender. And then now we're throwing in Gabe Vincent, who's an undersized point guard, you know? So I just think that there's a lot of holes in this team. You know, I think that this team needs a really big shakeup, and they also need to pick the direction of where this team wants to go, you know? Even if we make the play-in tournament, now we have to play the Milwaukee Bucks first round? Like, who wants to do that, you know? And once again, I just think that there's a lot of holes on this team, and there's just been a lot of stuff going on in the background that we really can't see. I know that this team... Definitely wanted a shakeup going into training camp. I know that they're playing it off, you know, because they have to. They have to be professionals. And at the end of the day, they're playing a game, so they have to be respectful. But 
even the team itself wanted to shake up. They did not want to run it back. I think that this is a huge failure on the front office for sure. Because right now we are wasting Jimmy Butler's prime window. His championship window is closing. After last season, how we struggled to score offensively, pretty much in each round, Jimmy Butler was carrying us in each round. That should have said, hold on, we need to get well-rounded role players. We need to pay the tax. I understand, you know, Mickey's going through hard times. Who knows? Who cares? Everyone's going through hard times. But Mickey should have paid that tax. I don't care what anyone says. He should have paid the tax. But let me know what you guys think about what Ira Winderman said that the Miami Heat ceiling is a first round exit. I believe him. And to be honest, I don't want him. I don't want this team to make the playoffs for what? So that we get bounced in the first round and then our draft pick gets pushed even further back. I would rather lose, not make the playoffs and at least get a top 12 pick. That's where we got Tyler Hero. That's where we got Bam Adebayo. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.